I went from acoustic to a hollow bodied and then because I, you know, I was starting to write more aggressive songs and I started with a hollow body for a little while to, for the transition, but I ended up falling in love with the Jaguar. Aaron Dessner from The National produced my last record and he had a he had a Jaguar and I had never played one before, but he and his brother play music together and introduced me to the wonderful world of a Jaguar because before I, I, I didn't have a fender, an electric fender, so. <laughs> we went into a rehearsal space and it just happened to be for sale by the people we were sharing a space with. And I felt like I lucked into it and I just fell in love with the tone, this, like how it felt. You know, it's, it's, it's solid and heavy, but it's not too heavy and it has such an awesome, thick, lush sound and it's, it's a very distinct sound. It still feels really solid. It's still really smooth to play, and it's, it's definitely a, the the same exact design. And it, you know, the tone is still really there. I think this would be uh, a really good guitar to have. Also, I mean, I, I just happened to be the first one that I came across. Obviously, they they age very well. This guitar feels really great and sounds really great and it'll probably age really well too. Everybody else.